A serious problem that can occur when taking a photo is when the auto white balance fails or when the image was taken with the wrong manual white balance setting selected. Such images are difficult to correct. The challenge lies in understanding where white balance is applied in the camera processing chain. White balance is applied early to the camera's raw RGB image. This is followed by a transform to convert the raw RGB color space into a device independent color space. Afterwards, camera specific color manipulation in the form of tone curves and lookup tables are applied to further modify the colors. The final output is saved in a standard RGB color space. To properly correct an sRGB camera image, the entire rendering chain must be reversed. Even with the manual selection of the appropriate white value in the image seen, we cannot undo the effects of the initial incorrect white balance. Here we show an example. Unfortunately, software such as MATLAB suggests that a simple linearization step, namely an inverse 2.2 gamma, can be used to undo the camera's onboard color manipulation. They recommend to linearize the image, then apply a white balance, then reapply a 2.2 gamma. This simply does not work. The camera's color manipulation is much more complex than a simple gamma function. Even sophisticated software such as Adobe Photoshop is not able to correct improperly white balanced images. We present an approach to address this problem. We start by generating many examples of incorrectly white balanced images. We do this for different white balance settings on the camera, as well as different picture styles. We also generate a ground truth white balance image where our white balance correction is based on a true achromatic patch placed in the scene. For each incorrect image in our training set, we generate a polynomial mapping function, M, that maps it to its ground truth target. We also generate a histogram feature to represent the training image. This feature is further reduced through PCA. We do this for a lot of images, over 60,000. Given a new input image, we generate its histogram features PCA representation. We then find the most similar training images based on these PCA features. A color correction for our input image can be obtained by a simple weighted blending of the color mapping functions of the similar training images. Here we show several results. Our approach requires only a modest amount of memory and can correct a 12 megapixel image in a little over a second. See our paper for more details.